And there is something God blessed me last month from our reading last month. And I know this is the right word in the right season and the purpose of God for me to share this morning. It's taken from the book of Ecclesiastes 3 verses 1 to 16. Might be you said to yourself, anyone die? Listen, just open your heart. And I know God will speak to your life through the word of God this morning. And I want Loi Loi to put up on the screen and everyone will read it from it. Amen? We are the glasses. Too strong. Verses 1, it says, To everything there is a season, a time for every purpose under heaven, a time to be born and a time to die, a time to plant and a time to pluck what is planted, a time to kill and a time to heal, a time to break down and a time to peel up, a time to weep and a time to laugh, a time to moan and a time to dance, a time to cast away stones and a time to get a stone. A time to embrace and a time to refrain from embracing. A time to gain and a time to lose. A time to keep and a time to throw away. A time to tear, to tear, sorry, and a time to seal. A time to keep silent and a time to speak. A time to love and a time to hate, a time of war and a time of peace. What profit has workers from that in which he labors? I have seen the God-given task which the son of men are to be occupied. He has made everything beautiful in its time. Also, he put eternity in their hearts except, sorry, That can find out the work that God has has thus from beginning to end. I know that nothing is better for them than to rejoice and to do good in their lives. And also that every man should eat and drink and enjoy the good of all his labor. It is the gift of God. I know that whatever God does, it shall be forever. Nothing can be added to it and nothing taken from it. God does it that man should fear before him, that what is has already been, and what is to be has already been, and God requires an account of what is past. Moreover, I saw under the sun, in the place of judgment, wicked, wickedness sorry, was there, and in the place of righteousness, impurity was there, I said in my heart, God shall judge righteous and the wicked. For there is a time there for every purpose and for every work. I praise God for his word. And my theme for this morning is this. For there is a time for every purpose. My theme is this. For there is a time for every purpose. We all know these scriptures. It's all about season. Everything happened in season. And do you know the lockdown is happened? It's happened for a reason. Might be you stress up. Must be you angry. Oh, must be she brought the lockdown to our country. But it's not. Do you know I said to God, that is so good, it's a confirmation of my message today. Everything happened for a purpose. We all know, but it's here in the Bible, but we're still complaining about it. It says here, it's time to be born and time to die. Everyone excited. Oh, do you know when the, the porn is because everyone prepared to, ha to have a child, and those two, that parents prepare, you know, looking forward for that child to come. 
but no one except, you know, that word die. No one going to enjoy while, while the funeral happened and someone laugh while the funeral happened. No. Everything here is happening for a purpose. The Bible says it's time to born and time to die. It's up to us to accept it. Everything happened in this time, in the lockdown, and all around the world. It's happened for a purpose. That's what the Bible says. But us Christians, but why are we still complaining about it? It says here in the, in the, in the word, I, I just finished reading it to us. It's time to plan and it's time to plug out. To those they know how to do to this, this one, I, I praise God because everyone planned, prepared before I planned my garden. I'm, I'm talking with experience. Back in New Zealand, before you have to plant something, you have to prepare your soil. You have to weed the place before you, you, you plant the vegetable. And everyone planned to do it, and everyone looking forward to harvest. You're not going to harvest if you're not going to do anything. That's what the Bible says. And there is a time for us to plant it, and it's time for us to uproot it. Or take it out. There is a time for everything. For us, there is something in our life we need to plan it. And sometimes we need to take it out. We need to renew that. We need to, to do something new in our, in our plan to do something for our life or for our journey. Amen? And I praise God because he says here, there is a season for everything. We need to understand that. But these days, I, I, I was laughing because all the time, and I said to God, yes, everything is happening in this earth, in this appointed time. It's happening. And we see what's happening around the world. And everyone confused. And uh, even the Christian, they complain about it. And I said, it says here, go read your Bible. That's why it's good to read the word of God. Then accept whatever comes on our way. There is a season for everything. And there is a purpose in everything we are facing on earth. Amen. And I want to encourage you all, church. Do you know it's always good to know the newness of God all the time when we receive grace. There is something new that we experience. Exactly what happened here. A time to born and a time to die. I praise God. We, God don't even plan everything. God don't accept it. Everything God planned here on earth, that's his purpose to see that thing, life, not death. He don't accept death. Because we sin, that's why it's happened. But I praise God because his word is so clear here to us. And I thank God because he says, it's time. There goes your time. It's time to kill and it's time to heal. Who wants to hear that? Who wants to hear that? It's time to kill, and it's time to heal. It's happened. But I don't think it's time, I'm talking about killing each other. I, I don't mean that. I mean something else from the word of God. Because Everything he made, it is beautiful in, it, in its own time. Amen? And I praise God because he is speaking and reminds us what we should do or what we should understand, what's happening in, din, in this time. And I praise God because it's happened. To, to, it's time to die. 
and it's time to heal. It's totally two different things here. It's killing and healing. I praise God because I know those two things is so important to us to know. It's happened right now. It's happening right now. Even you said to yourself, it's happened in New Zealand. Tongan kill, kill Tongan. And Samoan kill Samoan. Killing is happened everywhere. But we don't accept it. And I said to myself, I don't want to see that happening in the house of God. Even you know, might be you say to yourself, I'm not killing someone. Yes, but you are. In your words, in your looking, in your thinking. But the Bible says here, there is no time for us to do that in the house of God. There is, a reason, there is a season for everything. But to us, killing and healing, yes, we are here, you know, to comfort them, to those they go through that. You know, it's, it's happened everywhere. It's happened everywhere, and it's happened in the world. People are killing one another. It's happened in the family. It's happened in the church. But I want to remind you, church, today, there is no time to killing each other. It's time for us to comfort each other. And I praise God because his word says here, there is a season and there is a purpose for everything. And I praise God because he is so faithful to us. And allow God to speak to us through his word today. And I praise God because he says here, a time to weep and a time to laugh. It's like I chum. I, I already said this before. It's time to weep and time to laugh. Tell me if you go to in your wedding day, then you see your partner cry hard out. Do you think what's wrong with her? Must be you were thinking, oh my goodness, why are she crying like that? But there is a joy. There is a joy in her heart. Do you know it's time to moan and it's time to laugh. She was crying because of the joy in her heart for her big day is coming. It is happened. And it's time for us to embrace everything we're going through on earth. We need to enjoy, enjoy the time or whatever we face in life. Amen? And I praise God because I know God is so faithful to his people. What next? Sorry, like I mix up my stuff. No, it's here. This is the best one. A time to cast away stone and a time to get a to get a stone together. Is a time to cast away stone and a time to get a stone together. We all know in the Old Testament, we use this one, this meaning for revenge. We know when someone do something bad, they will stone that person to death. It's like a, a punishment to that, to that person. That's the meaning of throwing stone. You know, we have to, uh, it's happened in the Old Testament. We all know that. And it is says here, but I say 
in my heart to go. Even it's happened in a time in Israel, this, this story. You know, all those criminals, they have to, to stone them. But it's so clear to us here in the word of God. It's time to flow stone and it's time to embrace. It is happened. I see with my own eyes the goodness of God. Yes, we flow stone. We want to re revenge someone. They do bad thing to us, but it's not the way God wants us to do. I praise God. Yes, it's time to flow stone, and it's a time for us to embrace your enemy. You know, I praise God yesterday, uh, uh, last night. <coughs> Excuse me. I went to my son's uh, house. I, I plan to do it before my message today. And I know this is the right uh, um, example. It's time to flow stone and a time to embrace. And I praise God I was there to embrace them for what they are going through. This is a right example, a very clear example. Even Jesus and his disciple, he know how to embrace them in the right time. But if we all know it's time to flow stone, it's time to embrace. And Jesus embraced his disciple when they need it. And not only that, I was there last night to embrace my family because I know the situation they are going through. I am the right one to embrace them in, in their situation. And I praise God, it's very clear here. It's time for us to embrace one another. And whatever happened to your brother and your sister, it's time for you to go out and embrace that person or that family. Amen? It is so good for us to embrace someone if they go through a hard time. It is so clear here. When Judas deny Jesus, that's his enemy. You know, but I thank God. Jesus still do what he's supposed to do to his disciple. And I praise God because of his word. I think God wants us to see how to, how to know the word of God. Yes, we can throw the stone and we should do the embrace in the same time. And I praise God because he is so faithful in so many things, in so many ways of do things. And I praise God for his word. And I want to remind all of you to understand in your heart, you know, to experience that. I know when we have things happen for me, for my own experience in my family, I know the two girls, they came over to Auckland, and I know this, that this is the right time for them to come over to Auckland. And I see I was there. I know they go through hard time, but I was there. Even my husband so upset about them. But I said to him, no, me, I am the mother, and it doesn't matter what the kids do, my heart to them never ends. I am the right one to embrace them in their situation. And we are here, church. We should know how to embrace people regardless of their situation. We are here as Christ. Bring you here to know how to embrace one another. Amen? And I praise God for his word and his faithfulness. Maybe it's time for us to know better every day from the word of God. Amen? What next? Yeah. The next one here is time to seek in a time to lose. 
a time to seek or a time to gain and a time to lose. It's your choice. If we lost something, you're going to look for it until you find it. If you're hungry, you can't sit down and do nothing. You're going to do something to, to satisfy your need. And I praise God. Do you know it's time for us to seek God? Regardless of what's happening around us, it's time for us to seek God. Don't lose God, but it's time for us to seek him and, and let him or allow God, you know, to show us the thing we are seeking for or we are looking for. Don't lose it. Don't lose the thing God planned for your life and your family. You have to seek it for yourself. And you're going to receive it for yourself if you seek for it. And I praise God because he said, don't lose it. Seek for it. Amen? And I thank God because I see the good hand of God. Regardless of what we are going through, but he reminds us to keep seeking him, to keep going, otherwise the devil will take away the goodness of God and his plan for us family. Amen? And not only that, do you know we all know there's some old thing like me, I came back home, there is some old stuff in my house need to flow. You know, not to keep it anymore. You know, it's time for us to keep stuff, and it's time for us to flow stuff away. And then not only that, sometimes we, see, we, we don't even read it, even the books or, or, um, or tarry or important to you, but you'll not even read it. It's time for us to flow it, you know? Not to keep stuff is not worth, amen? <laughs> it's time to flow stuff. We don't need to keep it so long. You know, it's very hard for us women. We all know that. It is very hard for us to flow away things we love. But it's time for us to flow it away. Don't keep that stuff. We'll destroy you. Amen. And God knows. God knows everything for us to give in the house. Here. It's so good here to hear this. A time to dare and a time to sow. Everyone knows this is time. We all know in the old clothes, you know, in the old days, when we see the little hole, we have to sow it. You know, and not only that, we use it for our, the old stuff to put it on, a, we call it rocky, rock, wreck or whatever on the floor. We use it, we don't throw stuff. But I want to <laughs> encourage us. Don't keep things is already too much hole in it. <laughs> you need to throw it away. You don't need to sow it. You need to throw it away. Don't keep it. And then remember, God is watching. What thing is in your life is it's open, so many holes in there. I want to encourage you. If it is small, sow it when it's small. Don't leave it to be, come pick. It's going to be too hard to sow it. But I want to remind you, church, make sure the little, the little hole will come pick if you don't look after that thing. But I want to encourage all of you. Everything happened for a purpose. There is a season for everything we are going through on earth. And don't complain about it. Everything happened for us. You know, I know it. This season is to make us, not to break us. And I'm so grateful to God. In whatever happened around the world, I know the war. You know, people are killing each other. But I know, the Bible says here, there is a 
purpose and there is a season for everything. We have to accept it. We have to embrace it. We have to enjoy life, church. Don't complaining and don't stress out because it's happened. The Bible says here, go read the Bible and then you feel good for what happening around us. And I praise God because our God knows the best for us. Amen? And I praise God. Maybe nearly finished. Mm. This is the best one. <laughs> I think. Here a time to keep silent and a time to speak. We all know this. We all struggle in those two. Some people, they want to, you know, when we know how to, to some people, they love to talk, talk, talk. Everyone knows what happened to that person. There's something wrong. But for me, I love talk, talk, talk. I love talk, talk, no, talk, talk rubbish. But I love to talk all day, all night, and share the love of God and the word of God. It's happened. It's happened, but the Bible says here, there is a time for everything. It's time to talk, and it's time to silence. Here, it's so clear, but we all know this. To us ladies, we love to talk. But I know the Bible says here, it's a time to talk and a time to silence. I think it, this is a time for us to talk in the right time, not to talk in the wrong time. We all know we're going to be in trouble if we talk in the wrong time. There's something bad will happen. But I praise God. He reminded us to use that use that talking to draw someone to Christ. What are you talking about every day? Ask yourself. It's time for me to talk, yes. What are you talking about? I think it's time for us to talk about the goodness of God, the victory of God, and the word of God, and what God doing in your life and my life. Amen. It's time for us to know the season and the time and the purpose God bring on our way. And I praise God for his word. It speaks itself and reminds us what we're supposed to do. Amen? It is so good to know when God speaks. And I ask God, always ask God, to, I said to God, give me wisdom to talk. God, give me wisdom and understanding when I'm speaking. And I praise God because we should have that idea. Oh, bear in mind before you say something, you know you're going to embrace or you're going to uplift that, that person. You're going to complete whatever sadness he's going through or she. There is your word will, you know, will do something to help that person. Not your word killing someone. Amen? And I praise God because our God is so faithful to us. In everything, in everything the Bible says here, everything happened. Under the sun, there is a purpose and reason for it. And I praise God. I think this is the last and maybe this is the last. It says here, a time to love and a time to hate. A time to love and a time to hate. Maybe you said to yourself, love and hate, yes, it is so clear here in the Bible. Jesus, we all know what happened. There's 
those two here is very clear. You know, to us, we all love our family. We love everything in this world. We love to achieve something here on earth. And not only that, hate. Love and hate always go together. But I praise God because he reminds us. God did it first. The Bible says God did it first. He loved Esau and he hate Jacob. It is clear in the Bible. But God loved us, but he hates the world. And I said, how? God, you are God of love. Why? He said, we are of the world, but we are not of the world. When we make friends to the world, we are enemy of God. It is so. I said to God, but you are God of love, but you hate those, those stuff. And I said, wow, God help us to know how to love. But God saw his love to us. He saw it to us very clearly. He sent his son to die on the cross for you and I. That's the very clear example of God to us. He saw his love to us. He gave his best for you and I. And I want to encourage you all, church, this morning. I think it's so important for us to know that Jesus died for our sin. And he hates the world so much. But you make yourself clear, not because of the world he hates, but he hates what the world is doing. I know, must be you said, what are you talking about? Go read your Bible. It's from the Bible. Everything is from the Bible. It's not my word. It's from the Bible. And it's very clear to us this morning. This is the last I thought is finished, but it's not. A time for war and a time for peace. It's happening around the world now. Most people don't want to hear the war, but the Bible says here is a time for war and time for peace. The war won't stop until Jesus is coming back. And then he will give us peace. Maybe you say to yourself, what's happening to Israel? What's happening around the world? The war will never stop. And don't complain about it. It says here in the Bible, it's time for everything and time. Everything happened for a purpose. We have to accept it. Because Jesus said, I will return and then I will give you peace. The world will never stop war until Jesus is coming back. Amen? Bear in mind, don't say to yourself, too much happen around there in the world. The world are in trouble. But it's in the Bible. Always remember the time. Time is so important to us. Now we consider that time for us to make everything beautiful itself and existing. It says here it's time to die, it's time to burn, time to sow, time to tear, time to build, and time to put the pull down. Everything is happening in its own time, and it is perfect itself. And I praise God because. It says here, you have to enjoy your time and your life while you still have it. Don't complain about that. We need to enjoy the time and everything God put before us. Don't explain it. Uh, sorry, don't complain about lockdown. You know, I'm happy. Must be. Are you happy? Yeah? I am happy. For the lockdown, because I know God knows the best. God wants you to sit down, revive, restore, renew, 
and have your time with God. Maybe you're running around too much. Maybe you don't even sit down. Maybe you don't even listen. Oh, you need, God knows. Matthew said to First Lady, this is your first Sunday here. I enjoy speaking to thousand people sitting here. I don't even bother. I'm happy because I know God is here. And let the word of God reveal to us this morning. Everything happened for a purpose. And this season, don't complain about my feet. You're complaining. Oh, the lockdown again. Hey, wake up and see what the Lord has planned for us. Everything happened for a purpose. And I praise God. I want to remind you all, church, enjoy. Enjoy the life that God has blessed you with. Everything he prepared for us. God is the key in turning everything, something into meaningless, you know, to meaningful, sorry. And, and his gift for us, we need to use it. We need to enjoy the newness of God in your life and my, new, and my life. The new beginning of God did he, he did in your life. We need to embrace and enjoy life while we still have it. And I praise God for his word. That's all for me today. And I praise God for his word. And I know God knows the best for all of us. Remember, there is a purpose there is a purpose for everything. There is a season for us. We should embrace it. We need to enjoy. We need to enjoy the life that God bless us with. Regardless of our situation or what's happening around the world and what's happening now in Melbourne, accept it and be happy and enjoy your life while you have it before God coming back. Amen?